Ricky Fowler making his eighth appearance here at the Masters. His previous best finish tied for fifth in 2014. He started the day five shots back of the lead. This was his shot here at the eighth, the par five with a chance for birdie. And Fowler would move to nine under par, putting him in fifth position, five shots off the lead even on his round when he went to the par four ninth. His approach from 141. Fowler using the slope behind the green to set up a birdie opportunity from four feet away. Fowler goes out in 35. Thanks to back-to-back -back birdies getting him to 10 under par, he was tied for second, heading to the second nine at the par 312 from 154. A tremendous shot by Fowler, leaving him with the nine-foot birdie putt to move to 11 under par. He would be three shots off the lead, heading to the 13th solo third place. And at the par five, Fowler from behind the green for his third. And a delicate chip would leave him nine feet for birdie. He shot a bogey-free 65 on Saturday to put him in position for his first major championship. And that birdie putt there had him in third place solo, two shots off the lead at 12 under par. Now we go to the par 5 15th. His eagle attempt from 49 feet. And it rolls out five feet behind the hole. Fowler with another birdie. Two shots off the lead at the time at 13 under par. His third birdie in the last four holes. And the closing hole, the par 4 18th. 13 under par. His approach from 151. Fowler with the chance for birdie. The patrons showing their support, and Fowler would get the birdie to go. Five under 67 on his round, 14 under par, solo second place, tying his best finish ever in a major.